Houdini's Ghost with Houdini's Ghost. Uh, now, this is a side project of Alan Castellano, who is Lord Num. And this is a great one, too, just because, like, it's... He's always seems to be uh, tapping into different... Uh, somewhat different genres, but just different products to this side, which makes it more interesting. And because it gives give you a different feel of what kind of musician he is. And that's what makes the song so unique. I mean, this is the first one. There's a, a two, possibly three, I'm trying to... If memory serves right... But either way, point being is like this is a cool one, and especially with the doo ops with like a with a synth pop sound to it as opposed to the normal kind of you know fifties pop sort of thing. But great tune. I, honestly, I mean, they never fail to kind of deliver in whatever way he's you know direction he's going, and you know another quality track. It's it's just you can tell the level of under, you know musicianship that's behind everything and. Yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed that, but I didn't know the connection to Lord Numbs, and now you've said that, it's just, wow, really incredible, isn't it, that he's, you know, so diverse, it's great. Exactly, that's why he's a great musician, and I can still remember back when he first started following me on Twitter, and this was like year, at least three years ago, at least three years ago, and I followed him back, and I was listening to his stuff on his band camp, and I was like, oh, this is really cool stuff, and it just took forever to get a hold of him. You know, I sent him a couple of DMs. Like, you know what? I'm not going to push. I'm, like, I'm just going to leave it. And then finally got back with me. And man, I'm glad he did because it's been like a, a, a great relationship ever since then. You know, with the music he sent me, plus uh, the t-shirt I'm wearing tonight. Uh, I put a picture of it a, a few yeah. times. And he sent me uh, an, an EP as well. He's kept me up to date with all his new stuff and sent it along. And he's just been such a, a great... Uh, a great help to show with music he sent along and, and just very supportive so very appreciative of, of Alan like he's a, a fantastic guy and the music it just, just proves that over and over again I was going to say but it's really exciting isn't it when you find a gem you know like that and then it, they keep kind of it, it surprising you with the work it's fantastic yeah alright and one of my favourite songs which I play every Halloween now it's called The Ghost of Divers yeah, and that's based off uh, he and his wife were in Egypt, and there's this uh, not a canal, but it's a, it's like a, a swimming spot, but they they go they go through tunnels. I guess a lot of people have died in there. All oh, right. So the song was based off that the uh, Ghost of Divers was based off that that stream or wherever they were they were swimming in, because of people have died. So the Ghost of Divers right makes perfect sense, and it's a good creepy song, yeah. but it makes sense, and it's a great tune as well. Yeah, brilliant. So, next up, we're going to get to a band. Uh, well, it's pretty much one guy. He'll be on the show within the next month. He's got a brand new single, and it's going to be debuted on the show. So, it won't be released to the public until after NMS. Which is a very, very first for the show, and I'm looking so much forward to it. I'm very excited about this. So, the band's called, well, it's called Recite the Plan. And uh, I've been playing these guys for the past two months, as well as uh, another... Uh, Guy who kind of does all the stuff himself called the Ill Advised, which I uh, had in the show not too long ago. But let's get to recite the plans. This is an old one, but a new one to us. This one's called Go Insane. Dig this. And now, a word from our sponsor.
Recite the plan with Go Insane. Uh, short but sweet, but really cool song. Uh, very alternative, and uh, you can tell definitely just by the vocals alone and the recording itself. But really enjoyed this tune, and like I said, I'm looking very forward to within the next month, we'll have the new single up, uh, gonna be on NMS, and for the first time, it will not be re released to the public till the next day, which is awesome, because it'll be a first time for the show, so looking very forward to that, but great tune, and uh, yeah, recite the plan with Go Insane. Loved it. I wanted more though. You know, that's right up my street. Yeah, really cool. So I'm very excited to hear this new track as well because that's brilliant. But yeah, I could have had a longer double that, if not more. That was really good. Yeah, enjoyed it. All right, on. Well, next up is uh, a new one by Living Dead Girl. This one's called Night Creatures. Dig this. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> that, 
That was a living dead girl with night creatures, and what a great tune. I am loving them more and more. And like I said, I discovered them because of Ralph's White Ralph's Life blog on Tumblr. And uh, all, all the thanks to him for uh, for getting me in touch with this band because they are fantastic. I love the vocals always, and it's just got such a crazy but dark dark, but you know, um I, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, it's just—it's just, it's just a, a different kind of synth pop, like all together. Yeah, it's. I mean, the tempo is brilliant, and it's very, you know, moody but original. And if you have a look, I mean, I was looking at their website earlier, and the artwork that they have on there and everything else is very, very cool. I mean, they're they're so worth checking out. And I know you've played them before when I've I've been on the show before, yep. and I've really liked their stuff before. So. So, yeah, just unique, you know, and it's nice, isn't it? It's nice to have something completely off the wall and different, you know, and out there. Oh, well, and then that's exactly what it's all about, right? So I love Game and different stuff. Like, I mean, I, I was telling my buddy Rob when we did Friday Night Rocks last night about Grasscutter, the first song I heard, which oh, is just yeah. absolutely insane because we played Dead Luck last night. Cool. And uh, yeah, so I told him about that. I said, you know what, this is a great tune, but uh, you have to hear Angel's Truth. So I, I pass it along to him as well. Oh, fantastic. So next up is a brand new one by the Narcs. This one's called Told You I Was Ill. <laughs> Dig this. <laughs> Recite the plan. <laughs> Told you I was ill, and they they weren't kidding. That was the Knox, wasn't it? That was awesome because it was just all over the place. This the the solos and the gritty guitar. I mean, it was kind of like a uh, um, almost like a garage recording, but still, it sounded awesome. Like I really got into it very quickly. It was very yeah, very thrashy. Fantastic change in tempo. I love the you know they weren't scared to kind of go really really slow, and I can just imagine loads of people jumping stage and you know jumping at the front and really, yeah really good i liked it right on so next up we're gonna get to a band called the silver beats which have played once maybe twice before in the show this one's called pot plot dig this <laughs> 